December the 14, 2021. I am deliberately on Yahoo page. Uh, I have not seen more. Don't get me wrong. Not so that I would be addicted to this Yahoo page. Uh, for me, Yahoo is just a page that was used to trigger memories on MK Ultra Torture. Its executives were involved in my case since early beginnings of MK Ultra. The people from Yahoo were involved in an in MK Ultra case since '95. Along many of these Hollywood stars, uh, through whom Royals, Buckingham Palace, Berlin, White House talking about Bill Clinton here, talking about George Bush, talking about all the people that decide about fate of United States of America, people that push down the ladder racial issues on minorities so they get necessary feedback for the neo-Nazism. I'm not going to say to go on, but this is how they revived one. Uh, just a necessary page for me, a necessary evil that I had to visit over the course of the years uh, to get basically a feedback I was told I was brainwashed on uh, after every torture they conducted on me. All the torture they did after the torture sessions uh, which would go to oblivion this stuff would go to the degree that you no longer could possibly take then they would take some time to relax you uh, then again they would sit in front of the computer and they would take advantage mental abuse to a degree that you would go literally that 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 you could just I don't know, fell apart completely. This is what Buckingham Palace financed, actually. So, um, it's not that I would want, but I like to start this with this page. This is a page, the, the Western page that was the front line of this abuse. And this video is foremost related On the issue as per how I was taught from the people like Oprah. Oprah was the one who told me, guaranteed me, I will see nothing, heard nothing, you dead, you this, you that. A whole bunch of these heroes, Hollywood heroes, mainstream media, news people. From the land of the brave and free, United States of America, minorities that persecuted uh, claimed uh, how it's going to be and this and that. Um, these people were indifferent, however, from people like Mark Hopus. Here you have an individual for whom American psychologist. Daniel Rack Smith told me if you ever gonna say something against him or something like this then you're finished and so on and so forth I will not and tra 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 basically here is the article Mark Hopus have dedicated to me um, This is the stuff that was published on December the 4th, 2021. Yeah, look at that. Uh, receiving a camo in June 2021 was actually a mistake. Um, I don't know. Um, But the building that you see here 
uh, Mark Hope who's brought me to this building over course of the years in I don't know 2010 2008 this building here the building behind it you see the view you can't you can't go wrong so it says here that that receiving a camo in June 2021 was actually a mistake that he posted the photo was this like inappropriate meaning that was this inappropriate photo for him uh, that that's how he referred to in media as a mistake uh, did he refer to us because of what I was told when uh, he claimed me that he's gonna post the video like this actually uh, a post like this they're gonna post in the mainstream media um, the shirt the dinosaur uh, we went to some kind of place entertainment park took me and um, it was his uh, friends also he presented me to as well and so on um, or was it actually that he never maybe even have any cancer and it's just that he brought me to this building maybe I have no idea maybe there was not even hospital here in 2010 who knows what uh, and you know what I'm gonna tell you about this man you know, this sweet sweet guy and about the rest of the guys here you know you see what is written here about this stuff here I say that one must take care of himself and live with the motto see nothing hear nothing know nothing I think this is the only motto that you're gonna have a people like this guy here and the rest of it become accountable for the crimes they got involved in because these people actually think that killing people is a fucking joke it's not this guy only it's Winfrey Oprah it's everybody in Hollywood that thinks that killing people through the lies or killing them for that matter it doesn't have to be lie I bet that in Hollywood they kill people on a plain sight and nobody sees hears afterwards knows anything about it I bet I bet because of the attitude I met and if everybody is gonna stick to this rule here see nothing hear nothing know nothing the money from these people and I'm referring to the sanity as a money is going to dwindle fast their confidence is going to go back to normal I think the country the whole country would go back to normal real fast I think that the problem we have is because we within the society we accent in Slovenian language the proper in English language would be just release unmask divulge exhibit show let out tell disclose this is these are the issues we we just accent too much and when we do this kind of stuff we make this kind of people extremely 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 safe um, there is some other news anytime I uh, can go here there's a whole set of news he released to uh, remind me look this guy was involved in MK Ultra is one of the first people headed to Poland this individual um,
it was the whole set of others it was a mark cuban uh it was charlie shin this is like an oldest generation of the people that had it to poland on a donald trump's hunger games and every one of them claimed me um man as soon as I get some money I come back I swear I swear I swear and I save you and so on and so forth this is the story I heard so many times uh, from 95 to like 2000 and two something like this uh, of course nobody 2001 something like this nobody ever nobody ever came out for me the only thing was that over the course of the time they all turned against me and they met me here at the torches one time like in 2003 they came in my face and told me the whole group told me that i'm mentally ill on that mko I mean, you're mentally ill uh they all think you're mentally ill except the steve bannon steve steve bannon also was in this poland in this mk ultra hunger games steve bannon from donald trump uh he was the only one who thought that i was not and mark hope was this this was the only people that uh Suppose I never came in to in in argue to have a disagreement with this a, now the first people that's gonna be it, it sounded to me like some kind of probation that I would have to go through all the stages and then I would have a chance to uh, bail, be bailed out of this situation by the people like Mark Cuban and uh, and all this Tom Cruise and all these people, this this um, this wonderful people that, of course, are not are not a Nazis. Of course, are not. Um, you know this fog of white brothers that got congested around me that triggered a response against me this is how it all started in 95 and 96 all oh, these nazis they got the nazis around me um it was like a white fog around me that triggered attention from the whole world and nothing other than condemnation they started to play the fucking war world tree through me with the rest of the world um uh, how the hell that looks like that looks like this it looks like that one side thinks that it's the other side that loves you and the other side that is in a war with the other side thinks it's the other side that loves you and so now you get fucked basically from both sides you get stabbed you get stabbed that's a stabbing game that went on for 30 fucking years thanks to heroes from united states of america uh, it's the game that left me at age 50 without absolutely anything other than even a cancer issues, broken spine, and I would not go in what exactly I have gone through through my life. it's just a little bit too much i would tell uh it would be necessary to tell about this stuff um based on this based on this uh, probation period that i was given and when i compare this probation period with saviors the people that were involved in all this stuff their goodness uh i couldn't make it without it they wanted me to get in war with china at all costs joe biden insisted in my getting in a war with china joe biden was more fucking crazy than donald trump when he comes to china 
in just 2019 probably he had me somewhere I don't know where and imitated Chinese president that he demands me to I don't know uh, transfer him money and then commit myself basically to death for the greater China and fucky fucky under MK Ultra that made no fucking sense whatsoever might have been in Italy I don't know where the hell that was I don't even know where the location was but it was along the sea and so on and that kind of, that kind of stuff um, probation probation and issues such as you're gonna be a recognized recognize you you know if I'm gonna see myself in you that's basically that I would just keep my mouth shut as basically playing on weakness as basically playing some playing someone uh, through his weakness is what basically this weakness they created is very very sad stuff for instance let me demonstrate to you the latest picture from William and Kate that's a beautiful beautiful British couple this one here now this is a such a beautiful picture here I will not forget the day and I was probably in 2017 um, inside of this room here It's a, such a beautiful white power picture, isn't it? It's so white, white Christmas, really white, white picture. I see all this teeth like a horse smiling. Would be inside of this room and came to me and told me when I see when I see you with a picture like this this is when you're gonna be somebody that's when I'm gonna start to think about you as somebody until then you're nobody and he took me to this place he took me to this location where he took this photo here there are Christian uh, Kensington Palace no there is actually some some location that a real location that that they took me it's more than just a postcard um, he however did manipulate it as far as the children he wasn't sure exactly that was actually probably even in 2015 it had something with a child that was not there yet, something with the children and it appears that he borrowed children maybe from somebody else, I don't know. He had exactly the hot, exactly with the background of this picture with a, what appeared to be Kate and that's what he present me. Issue, he manipulated something with somebody that he spoke on the side about one of the children I don't even know the size of the children how big the children were in the picture uh, but it, it was a Kate and it was some children next to it and that's he said to me when you gonna have something like this that's when I'm gonna think about you as somebody so that might have been 2015 2017 I don't know about the age of the children but at the time he did have one one or two children two children I think he did have um, this is the kind of stuff that makes you feel excuse me ladies and gentlemen but you would say hmm this is somebody like this somebody that you took 30 years of life he's age 50 and you took from him 30 years of life 
Uh, I think it's kind of a brazen to do this stuff like this. Uh, that's something that it's not 30 years of life yet, but it really is close to. That's something that a person that when was 23 years old and you started to do this stuff like this to him that person would go back in time this is when you date this is when you go about seeing girls meeting still uh, you work actually I didn't even have a time to do this stuff like this here much in Slovenia because I was always chasing money in Poland in 2019 I was once I started to live on my own I chased sugar enormous amounts of sugar I would eat starch and sugar basically to save for the car I would work 12 hour shifts rotating shifts and try to save for the car for three dollars an hour pay lifting 15 20 tons of material per night with bare hands and I have even wake up inside of the forest inside of the swampy forest where I would collect the tent throw one in a black bags threw that in the bushes so that nobody would find the sleeping bags and clothing that I had jump on a bike and I would drive to the work because of the flood that was the water up to my knees and all the chemicals in that park would roll down the road I would jump under the shower prior to work and then I would go to work for 12 hours doing that kind of stuff and so on when you say stuff like this to somebody um, that somebody could start to hate issue of the family even you are really a lucifers as satans is what you are over there in london i just want you to know how far you have gone with this i know it's going to be even more difficult now because you are your highness you are a big fucking thing right there in the top of this pyramid and uh who the fuck is gonna say something against you wow all these diplomats presidents in united nations and another majesty over there in the vatican all this garbage you fuckers who consider yourself to be a human beings how the fuck am i gonna get this case without mark hopus and support from hollywood right through how the fuck am i gonna get well I'm gonna tell you what, just the way I got it now. In 2012-2013, Milan Kuchan, a Udba boy, told me that I am dead, buried, then buried alive. They threw me inside of the mental hospital, accused me of having a paranoid schizophrenia. And I completely disregarded one. Look, I know why I disregarded one, because it's fucking nonsense that somebody tells you like this, that, that you're now inside of the mental hospital and they give you some kind of pills and uh, these pills really make you completely impossible to function, that's true. Um, but these people before 2013, they whispered in my ears after they finished torture one torture procedure after another uh on you know you're talking about the presidents you're talking about united people from united nations and so on how you're never gonna make it out of this how you you tell somebody like this now it's just add another issues the issue you you promised him before you threw him you know they, they insisted to me only 70 years before, 18 years before they threw me inside of the mental hospital uh, on how they gonna throw me in mental hospital. Hello, fuck you.
what is exactly the news now you finally land there uh, and now you even know how it is now you even know what to cope with um, so how exactly am I gonna get this stuff done without the Hollywood without the people from Hollywood without these people from human rights organizations United Nations organized assassination plot against me after I complained submitted complaint to European Union and to United Nations within days in 2007 I got a car plot that was the first complaint in my life I did I almost disappeared before you know um, people from United Nations were involved in this case since 1995 since 1996 the boss of United Nations Guterres was involved with his family since 96 before he had anything to do with United Nations the same thing is with Gebre Jesus from World Health Organization since 97 since 98 they brought me to his country um, to meet his president dictator Afraki and so on and so forth this is crazy shit so tell me how am I gonna solve this how am I gonna solve this without the Pope without the Vatican without all these organizations without how am I gonna solve this stuff how am I gonna solve this stuff well the good thing is <laughs> uh, much much easier much much more efficient in a much much better proficient way because with this video it's just another stone that falls down from my heart um, Damn it, but I would really not want the people like Mark Cuban or Tom Cruise These white brothers <laughs> that couldn't save me. They just couldn't save me. You know, they couldn't save me uh, Talk about people who created all this shit people who created basically a racial war in the United States through me people who supposedly were so hated people who had such a difficulty to uh, to survive in the US because of me people who had so many problems and they would wanted to save me so much um, People who, however, had to bend down and wait for my probation uh, from the terrible, you know, from the horrific people, uh, big boogies. And that reminds me of Russia. Uh, Russia with 150 million people together with Belarus, uh, with a totally broken economy without nothing. Uh, and Ukraine which in 95 the standard 96 97 would go like this and then all of a sudden it will go just like like this down and in the country Russia would go up like this city involved look what the fuck happened over there this is the city that uh, grew 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 and all of a sudden started to shrink go to fucking Lvov go see the history of what happened Lvov explains a lot I was in Lvov in 2017 and have empowered like in Slovenia this Milan Kuchan and Borut Pahor that no longer even existed because the country became independent and these people presented an option in what used to be Yugoslav Federation uh, greater Serbian Chetnik state where just if you would express yourself as per want to have independent Slovenian state if you would say this publicly you would be killed murdered you understand lynched within fucking days you would disappear these are the people today the guy is the president of Slovenia this guy that's whom they empowered that's what the west empowered so they gained equity 
within our society, they disbalance society, and they want us, Slovenians, basically to go down on fucking knees in front of you, West, the same you have done with Ukraine, so they can do with us as you want, because you don't give a fuck about us, but you do care about the territorial needs. That's what is in your objective, you know, objective is a picture, frame as the main goal. That's how you defend. So, at the same time, you can step with, the next, with another foot on an African continent and on a Middle East and on an Asian continent and do it your way the other way in that area. So you disbalance where that's how the Mark Cuban, Tom Cruise, Mark Hoppus, everybody over there, that's how they play their rescue game. This is the rescue game from these white brothers uh, who they were so terrified uh, they couldn't fucking do anything for me till I would prove innocent to a buggy man, Obama and Mike Tyson and Holyfield and all black assassins, mercenary that was that enlisted itself on a pay list from the Buckingham Palace, from the Berlin, from the Washington DC and so on. All this fucking Hollywood, NBA, NFL and so on. The people that were involved in it. This basically is how. Much easier, much better because, man, I don't think I would forgive myself for the rest of my life if I delete. This is about recognize, recognize me. This is about me paying respect to myself as a human being and acknowledge you as for what you are. You are a fucking ultimate evil. You are the one because of whom all this shit started. You are the main reason. You are the cause. You are because of whom all this shit started. You are the one you started this racial war through me. You did this stuff and I'm never gonna... Yeah, I would never forgive myself if I would go and allow any one of you to recognize me. You gotta be charged with a crime. You're criminals. You're murderers. You're assassins. You're creed of assassins. You're not okay. You're not normal. You're sickos. You're no good as a human being. You're no good. You're trash. You brought this world to the edge and you pushed this world over the edge. But you're not going to push me over the edge. You did this. You did this. You did. You're not going to bail anybody out. You're not going to bail anybody out. I don't know how this is going to play out. I don't know how this shit is going to go through. But for me personally, much better without you than to have anything without you. With you. Than to have anything with you. Anything to do with you. This is how, basically. Much better. So that's why I want to rationalize. I want you to understand how basically I see you. I view you as what exactly I see in you. Joe Biden tried to make a confusion with the Chinese. He tried to push me under the water. He tried to depict me as mentally weak in front of Buckingham Palace. They, they, they triggered all kind of news next to 90% torture. They also took time to relax and they inserted more pleasant for the next time, for the next time's sake, accessible, accessibility scenarios. So they could also use for me to 
see myself in something I never ever was part of it. It's too damn bad that Black Lives Matter, blacks in the United States of America, the po top portion of society, it's too, it's just too damn bad that they don't, they don't, uh, they don't consider a U.S. Constitution as an instrument to go by. It's just too damn bad that. Lay down in front of the hatred and gave in it's just to this it's just to them bad that they they see black and white more than American it's just to them bad that they see black and white more than right and wrong it's just to them bad but for me personally Either way, either way, much, much better without you than to have anything with any of you. You are just no fucking good. You're no good. I'm not so heartbroken when I say this. If you think that I spill my guts, my, my heart, my kidneys out here right now, I'm not. Fuck you. Uh, it took me a while to get to this stage to understand exactly what I had to deal with. There was no probation period. Uh, it was just all along this stuff. It was just malicious, assertive, manipulative even attempt to portray me as mentally ill, sick in front of others uh, depict me as if someone that collaborates see himself in a circle, in a white circle or something and stuff like this, nah um, I'm much closer to Chinese I'm much closer to Asians. I'm much closer to normal blacks than I'm close to you. You're no fucking good. You're just no fucking good. You're evil. You're evil on this planet. You created all this stuff. It's not about... Uh, this isn't about... my taking the wrong route this is about my taking exactly the right route this is exactly about my giving understanding because if you couldn't have done it with me I'm talking about to the Buckingham Palace right now I'm talking to Berlin I'm talking to Norwegian King I'm talking to the Dutch King right now and you didn't, you could not have done it with me. You got absolutely from me anything you ever asked. Did I ever said anything to you as no? Did I ever say no to you ever on a single one single occasion? I was so yes to you that you told me alone that I'm probably mentally ill. That's when you no longer needed me for whatever you told me. You're going to build exactly on that stuff. Exactly on my being. So, yes to you. And so, since you couldn't fulfill not even a minimum requirement for absolutely anything other than to desperately try to destroy me you went after my health and even try to destroy my public image in front of the rest of the world now, I would say that we have more common with 
we Eastern Europeans much more common with anybody on a globe than with you yeah I know it's it's um, it's a funny situation but this is like a mirror basically you look at yourself and on one side you see let's say exactly the opposite of what you are basically exactly it looks the same but it's exactly maybe it does not look the same but it looks similar let's say but it's it's exactly it's exactly what you are not my that that's exactly you that's how I see you as I don't think we have anything in common uh, other as per being on this planet on the same planet but other than that there is really nothing common there is no love here between us this is not about your recognizing anything this is about your I don't even care admitting about crime foremost you commit it and this is a terrible crime this is not about you saving anybody you didn't save anybody you came here to basically learn what it looks like what it feels like to murder psychologically to kill through the physical and mental abuse person because this is your God this is what God dictates you as this is how you as a people I think you even see yourself I don't see myself anything in you it's not about you seeing in me I know that you have a lot of Facebook likes and Instagram likes and Vatican likes all this stuff the world that you have that's why I accent that we have to separate ourselves from you as a society Eastern Europeans as much as possible because we have when compared with you we have human needs common with the rest of the world a human needs you know per human needs with you we have nothing we have nothing with you that's probably the most the biggest reason why you're dangerous for entire globe not only for me but for entire globe that's why so yeah so if I can do with Mark Hopus and I don't want to have anything to do with it I acknowledge one as a criminal then probably you know what time it is you know.